Hey, church family, today is the day where we get to reveal our Dollar Club project. Over the past couple weeks, you've been giving towards it. And today you get to see what we were able to take on as a church family. So there's a wonderful family at the Port St. Lucie campus, Larry and Paula Girardi. They have two children of their own and four adopted children that have all kinds of medical challenges. They're in and out of the hospital all the time. And so today you get to see what you were a part of. So check this out. I know your story really well, but I know there's a lot of people who don't. And so tell me, when did you first start fostering children? About two and a half years. Wow. And how many kids have you had since then? Well, we have two biological children of our own, but God placed 11 more children with us. How many uh, children do you have right now, today? <sighs> Whopping grand total of six. Six children. Okay, <laughs> so you've adopted four, right? We've adopted yeah. four children. How many times have you, have you guys been in and out of the hospital since you t took in those children? There's been at least seven blood transfusions. Um, each one constitutes about a week stay in the hospital. We could not do this, what we do, without Christ Fellowship and Place of Hope. We just, we couldn't. They're my family. Living in this house mm -hmm. uh, with eight people, yeah. <laughs> uh, tell, me, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges that you guys are facing just physically here at the house. Oh my goodness, storage. In a perfect world, what would your house look like? In all honesty, I think um, being able to put away more than two days worth of groceries would be amazing. A dining room table that sits my whole family, my six children, myself, my husband, and just being able to have my children's belongings where they're supposed to be. Going from four people in a house to seven people in a house in a matter of weeks, it's been weighing on us. Any time that the immune system is compromised, say the flu or something like that, it kickstarts the immune system and causes the hemoglobin to start to fall. And once it reaches a certain level, we have to get a blood transfusion because, well, you don't have enough red blood cells that are carrying oxygen to all of the vital organs. It starts to shut down the peripheral organs. It actually puts them in a lot of danger. Hey guys, how are we doing? Hey, what's in the <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Have you heard of this little thing we call, we do called Dollar Club at Christ um, Fellowship? Yeah. You know anything yeah. about, about, about that? You know anything about that? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. today you are the recipient of the Dollar Club. Wow. And so we are so thrilled to have you here and to be able to just share the love of Jesus <laughs> on you and your family. You guys are awesome. We love you. And so this is literally a blessing for us and our <laughs> church family to be able to do this for you. We have some baskets over here. You're down here at Palms West, but Lion Country Safari is right down the road. So we got some backstage access for you. <laughs> We got some movie tickets for you, some movie candy. Up here, we just thought this would be an opportunity to love on your kids as well. You have six of them. And so we got some stuffed animals and all kinds of toys and different things that you guys can take for your kids. But what I'm most excited to share with you is this basket, this bucket, I should say, because we're gonna be doing some painting at your house. Uh, we're gonna be doing some flooring at your house. <laughs> It's because of the generosity of our church family, as you guys know, that, that we're able to do this. Are y'all ready to see your house? We're yes. ready. Are, are so you ready. ready for your mind to be blown? We're ready. Yes. All right, Paul, go in. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It looks like something from a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house. Gosh, it's perfect, and it's full, <laughs> and it's full. And and look, the cereal. <laughs> the cereal. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm overwhelmed. This is wow. absolutely incredible. Wow. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, it's perfect. I remember you used the word just a, a sanctuary. A sanctuary. What this means to me is that this is an absolutely amazing example of people loving on people. And it's teaching my children to pass forward that blessing and that they can go forward knowing how much they were loved and that they can go forward and love on other people. Thank you, Christ Fellowship and all of our church family. This is 
an incredible blessing. We could not have had this without you. Thank you for all the people who have been here for the past three days. Thank you, Christ Fellowship Church family. We love you.